Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the Tangle Buds from CZT Barbara Duell Johnson. Oh, another cute one from Barbara. All right. Yeah, it's just adorable. All right. This one starts off with you know, a pair of lines, depending on, you know, however you want to curve them, of course. That's, uh, all right, like that. Okay. Then, kind of like, well, it's, it's just a pair of S shapes uh, mirrored to each other. Uh, but if you've done poke leaf, you know, it's, uh, it's similar to that. I like to do this in two steps. You could probably, you know, it's like a big teardrop shape, but I like to start it from the bottom. That way I make sure that I hit the bottom, but I like to do in two steps. So there's one. And then the other side is kind of, you know, mirrored as best I can mirror. <laughs> All right, then. You know, I think it's uh, C shapes uh, for the most part, all the way home. All right. So coming down a bit from this top, we're going to do a nice big C shape as if there's, you know, uh, you know, as if it's a, a teardrop or a flux shape, you know, uh, coming behind it. But this, you know, because we can just start like that and go. Yeah. All right. Same thing on the other side. And then another set, this one, I'm, I'm looking to see it's, well, no, I take it back. It doesn't matter. Um, just like, just like everything's untangled. I was going to say this one, it seems a bit thinner, but it, go take a look at the, for more inspiration link. And um, so you can see all of the beautiful samples that um, Barb has. But just another one coming out the side, however, it ends up coming out. It's all good. Now, all of these seem to kind of come somewhat even or just below the initial shape. And then we're going to do two more, you know, flux or teardrop shapes coming right out of here, but either going straight or hanging down a little bit like that. Like that. Oh, I missed a step. This one, it doesn't matter which direction you go. You could get all of this done first because the second one is kind of like decorating uh, this initial shape. And that is, and I think this is so cute. So she has a couple, single line, and then this same shape that we just did on the inside. I like the one that she has with three. So I'm going to do three. She has some samples that just have uh, maybe one in it. Um, or something else in it also. Well, well, you know, I don't know if that's Barb. It might, I, I'm looking at this on the, oh, I don't know if I'll pronounce it right. The Mooster Kella, um, website. And I don't know if that's, that might be whoever does the site. It might be their, um, you know, thumbnail picture, but anyway, take a look and you can see. All right. Now let's do another one here. like that. I think I got it all. Yes, I did. Okay. And then shading. Now, the first thing that I like to do is of course, you know, stuff that is tucked behind. So this is obviously in front because these look hollow bowed behind. We'll put some graphite behind here or on the behind here on the outside of this same thing here. And this just because it's probably going to be shaded by that. Oops, let's do the one side at a time. I'm going to make sure that this one was, I've been using, I have a whole bunch of tortillons laid out here with all kinds of different colors on them. All right. Like that. And fun to do one side at a time so you can just enjoy that depth that is created from uh, from doing the shading. And 
this I'm not really working to come out so far. It's just whatever the tortillon is just doing naturally. I want to keep as much of that, the darkness right towards the line as possible, but definitely want the gradient coming out. Okay. Let's use what's left on the tortillon. Let's just put some in the base of these. Like that. Hmm. I'm just thinking like I, hmm. it's like I want to do something inside there, but at the same time I don't because it's such a small area. So I think I'm just going to leave it. I'm looking at some of her samples. Nope. Just like it. Now, one other thing I'm going to do, which I, I probably should have done before the shading, but blah, you know, <laughs> um, I'm just going to do some wispy lines, maybe just one. Ooh, yeah, that looks because the other ones would be tucked up underneath there, right? Whoops. There we go. Well, that one gets two because that one kind of went right. Luckily went right along the, the original line. It just adds a little something. It's right up there with the line dot dot. You know, and I'm going to try this. Let's see. Just a little bit of thickening. Just kind of in the middle there. And then just because we'll do some little squigglies. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's so cute. All right. Hey, you know, hmm, wait a minute. Let's do a little drop shadow action with just what's left on the tortillon. Oh yeah, like that. And let's do maybe this side. I put a little wiggle. It's like it's dancing. All of a sudden now I'm thinking it's like one of <laughs> it's like one of those solar flowers. Have you seen those? Some people have them in the the dash of their car. Um, that just dance. <laughs> Anyway, oh, oh, that's funny, but such a cute, such a cute tangle. All right. It, it, it's fun when they, they kind of can have their own character and yeah, it's just so neat. All right. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please click on the like button. And of course, if you liked it enough to see more, and you have not yet done so, would love to have you be a subscriber. So go ahead and click that while you're at it. Um, in the description section, I mentioned links to the step outs. Uh, I always do my own version and then link to the creator of the tangle. Uh, then below that is my link tree where uh, you will find links to um, on my social media. So if you want to connect, that would be awesome. Uh, also, if you want to connect with other Tangle addicts and come and tangle with us online, uh, we do it every Thursday. Actually, um, most of us do every Tuesday and Thursday. Tuesdays, for the most part, have a fee uh, for the class or, or a club member exclusive. Um, and I do have a, a subscription type club. So if you really like what we're doing um, and you think you'll, you know, you, you want to tangle regularly and you'd pay for more than um, a class. Uh, take a look at it. Informa There's a link there for information. All right. Um, but we do every Thursday, unless I have a schedule change. Otherwise, it's every Thursday, 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. Eastern time. I'm here in Michigan. Um, we have Tangle time and it's just we have fun with with Tangles. I'll pick a Tangle, maybe two. Every once in a while, maybe more. <laughs> Um, and we'll play with it and see how much fun we can have. It's an amazing time and it's free. So come and join us. All right. So like all the other information is there, you know, other ways to follow me. Well, actually, if you follow my Facebook page, if you happen to be on Facebook, um, I do post the classes there. And then also our Tangle Addicts community, we have a private group. So you can take a look at joining us there as well. Um, there are questions that have to be answered in order to gain entry. And then, um, yeah, and that's, that's all you need to know. Um, and I think that's it. So with that, thank you so much for watching. And I wish you happy tangling. <laughs>